right, so our next speaker is Paul Zimmerman to give us an update on CoreMath. Paul is a senior researcher at INRIA and he's been working on CoreMath for a little while now. So I'm excited to hear what's new. Thank you very much, Pavel, for the introduction. And uh, also thank you, Martin, uh, who made a very nice introduction uh, a few talks ago. So um, my goal is to talk about forest recording in Cormat. So this is joint work with Alexei Sibidanov. So Cormat is a, a toy project I started um, last year. Um, it's a... Uh, I guess it's a project which will be useful for the um, scientific community. So maybe it's my last project before my uh, uh, before I retire. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. So the mission of this project is to to provide a on the shelf uh, open source implementation of mathematical functions with correct rounding. So the idea is that this implementation can be directly integrated into current mathematical libraries. Um, so this is not a new uh, mathematical library. Uh, really the, the goal of Cormat is to die after uh, the routines have been integrated in, uh, into other mathematical libraries. And so we, we choose an um, MIT license to make integration easier. Okay, so I guess every, everybody knows what correct rounding is. Uh, so this is the best possible result for, for a given rounding mode. So this is already required by uh, the IEEE standard for basic arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square root, and the fuse multiply add that some people already spoke about. Uh, unfortunately, uh, many people don't know that um, Correct rounding is not required for mathematical functions. So when you compute the exponential of some number, uh, a library could give a minus one. And uh, as Martin pointed out, this is perfectly uh, in the standard. So the goal of the project is really to, to push the current, uh, the IEEE standard and also the C standard to require the correct rounding for mathematical functions. And so, as in the LLVM uh, LibC project, we don't only uh, target the default running mode, uh, which is run to nearest, but also the directed uh, running modes, so to zero, to plus and minus infinity. And this, for example, is useful for people doing uh, interval arithmetic. So, if you look at the current mathematical libraries, so there are many of them. Um, in fact, uh, there are a total of 11 libraries, uh, I know. Uh, nine that work on CPU mainly, and two mainly on GPU. And they provide, uh, all of them provide at least a single and double precision. And some of them provide also extended double, on, uh, which I call binary AT, because it's 80-bit uh, format, and also uh, quad precision. So among all those libraries, uh, only LLVM uh, targets correct rounding for now. So the goal is to push more and more of those libraries to also um, provide correct rounding. So if we look at the largest known errors you get when you compute with uh, these libraries, uh, so this is an except of a, a table uh, that uh, Martin already mentioned before. So, so this is the largest known error for single precision. So the best library is the Intel Math library with the largest known error of uh, a little more than half a, half a Yulp. So this is for running to nearest. And the worst libraries are, are new lib on uh, the CUDA libraries with errors of uh, up to 10 uh, Yulps for CUDA for the power function uh, in single precision on uh, almost 170 yields for the power function uh, for new uh, For double precision, uh, this is uh, even worse. So the, the best library is also the Intel Math library uh, with an error, a maximum non, a largest non-error of uh, 1.7 yields for the power function. 
and you see very large errors for the OpenLibM, the Apple uh, library, and the Microsoft library. So the LLVM uh, value is an artifact, and I guess it should be fixed soon. So the goal of Cormat is that uh, you get some uh, 0.5 values everywhere in this table, which would be uh, the ideal uh, uh, situation and so the, the different libraries would compete only on the speed of their implementation and not on the accuracy. So which functions uh, do we target in Cormat? So we target all the functions defined in the IEEE standard uh, which has all, the, all those functions so there are almost 40 different functions and uh, which target formats? So the sing of course single and double precision. On uh, later, we will also target uh, the extended double precision format, which is long double uh, in the C language, at least on uh, x86-64, and also we target uh, quadruple precision. So that's the status for last year, uh, at least uh, in our ARIT presentation. So last year we did implement all uh, single precision functions in uh, C99, uh, plus uh, three uh, double precision functions, the arc cosine, the uh, cubic root, and the exponential. And uh, at that time, uh, out of the 26 binary 32 functions uh, which were implemented, uh, nine of them were already faster than the GNU libc, the Intel Mat library, and uh, the LLVM libc. Okay, so now, from now I will uh, speak about improvements from uh, this year, from uh, 2023. Uh, so here is an excerpt of some uh, functions where we see for the so this, in a single precision, the arc cosine, uh, the reciprocal throughput uh, decreased from 30 cycles to uh, 17 cycles, uh, which is now faster than uh, the gnu libc in the Intel Mat library. For the exponential, so in double precision, uh, this is the last row of this table, uh, we decrease from 32 cycles to 18 cycles. So, Yes, these timings are produced in our test environment, uh, which is all also used by um, Chuli uh, to compare the um, to get timings for LLVM libc. And uh, yes, I should say the Intel timings are produced using the Docker image, so which might give some uh, some artifacts. So the in uh, this year, we have implemented uh, more uh, functions, especially um, the new uh, functions from the C2x standard. Um, so these are the sine pi, cos pi, and tan pi, so which compute the, the sine of x sine pi um, on the inverse, the corresponding inverse functions, and also some uh, extensions of the uh, x of uh, x of x minus one uh, on a log of one plus x to a different basis. Okay, uh, so this is for single precision and for double precision, we have implemented many many new functions. So, for example, if you want to compute a sine of pi, a sine pi of some uh, value, so currently. Uh, the only library computing uh, that function is uh, Cormat, uh, apart from uh, GNU MPFR, of course, but GNU MPFR is much slower for double precision. Um, so this is a, a function that uh, gave us a lot of work, so the binary 64, so the double precision power function. So this is common work with Tom Abrecht, uh, which is a student of, at ENS in Paris on uh, Claude Pierre Genereau uh, with a colleague in, uh, in Lyon. So we, we get a full uh, code uh, for the double precision power function uh, uh, with a full paper proof. So this is correctly rounded for all uh, four running modes uh, that I mentioned. So, so this is not yet integrated in Cormat, but it will be soon. Um, and the technical, pa paper, uh, the 
technical details, sorry, it will appear in the in the right uh, papers that will uh, soon be online. So the recycle broker throughput is uh, about 50% slower than uh, the gnu uh, same for the latency. Uh, but this compares very nicely uh, to the previous implementations in MATLIB. So this is a IBM accurate uh, library and CRLIBM, uh, which also adds some uh, uh, tentative implementation of the power function. And what is very exciting is that some colleagues at Inoya, uh, Laurence Ridon, Laurent Terry, started to a formal proof uh, of our paper with, with a Coq formal proof engine. Uh, another focus on the logarithm function, so still in double precision. Uh, some colleagues at uh, Inoya Sackley have formally proven a part of the argument reduction that we use in Cormat. So we first reduce the argument to uh, square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2. And then we approximate the logarithm of t using uh, uh, a polynomial plus some uh, table values. And they are formally proven that the, the polynomial approximation uh, is close to uh, z plus uh, log of 1 plus z uh, with some values that was given in our in our code. So the, their work will be presented also at the RIT conference. Okay, so uh, you can contribute to the Comat project uh, in different ways. So you can either try to find a bug in the published functions, uh, uh, submit a faster implementation, um, Another way to contribute is to find uh, art room cases for the different formats. Uh, you can also try uh, to make a formal proof of some implementation. This is uh, very welcome. Uh, or to try to work on the integration in some uh, current mathematical library. Okay, so that's uh, all I wanted to present you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul. And I also have to say that reading some of your implementations has been a, a good guide for some of my work. So uh, not only are they accurate and fast, but they're also pretty readable. Um, let's uh, take just a couple of questions uh, for, for Paul's talk. So uh, I'll maybe start with one of my own, which is uh, how how often are some of the new like sine pi, the C99 functions, how often are they actually being used? Because I've looked at quite a lot of C code and it seems like most people don't know about them. Do you have any sense? Uh, I have no idea, but I guess they are not used because they are not available, so. <laughs> yeah, there's like a chicken and egg problem here, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, maybe there's a question from Zach I see in the Slack. Do you want to ask that in person? Yeah, so actually just following up on, on those uh, new specialized versions of the various operators, I was wondering to what degree your previous accurate implementations guided the implementation of these new operators. Could you sort of adopt the same strategy or did any of them require sort of rethinking things specifically for those new operators? Uh, basically, the... The argument reduction uh, are the same as, as in uh, the literature. Um, what is specific is that uh, thanks to the computations of uh, others to run cases, um, as Julie explained in his talk, uh, we know that the, the largest accuracy required is about, uh, say, 200 bits. So we can really focus uh, what is called the, the slow pass for, to this accuracy. And um, so the, the idea in the, in the first pass, you compute with, say, uh, 70 bits of accuracy. And then you have a rounding test, uh, which tells you whether uh, if you run this approximation, you get the correct rounding or not. And saying 1% uh, uh, of the cases, this rounding test fails. So you need to to call a, a slow pass with, uh, say, 200 bits of accuracy. And uh, then uh, you, you are sure that the output of this slow pass, if you run it, is correct. 
Got it. Do, do your implementations suggest any additional helper functions that would be useful to include in uh, in a later C standard? Like I know that sign implementations almost always come with an accurate mm -hmm. mod pi operation, mm -hmm. right? But those typically aren't exposed to users. Mm -hmm. So some uh, some functions which are very useful are, for example, the fast to sum, which takes uh, two um, two double precision numbers or, or two floating points in some uh, given format, with with some uh, ordering in, in the inputs on uh, outputs um, two two floating point uh, numbers whose sum is ex exactly the same, but uh, with some ordering. <laughs> With some other ordering, so this is a, a very useful uh, routine, and uh, it would be nice that he, if it would be available uh, in hardware. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, well, I, I want to make sure we have time for the.